Hi guys, welcome to an interdisciplinary approach to ethical leadership. My name is Dr. Wendy Morton. I will be teaching this section of the course. And so I just wanted to jump on and talk to you a few minutes about the course setup. So this course is a little bit different um, than what you have probably been used to. It is set up as, as the uh, title alludes to an interdisciplinary look at um, ethical leadership by setting it up in a conference approach. So you're gonna have individual assignments and you're gonna have task force assignments. In week one, you need to complete a survey and, and please do that as soon as you possibly can so that I can assign you to a task force group for week two. I will also assign you a leadership role and you will not tell your um, your peers your leadership style that you've been um, assigned. You will use this opportunity to apply the leadership style and approach as you work with your task force. Keep in mind that graduate work is um, designed to challenge yourself. So let me tell you just a little bit about this course. The course task force assignment, you're going to be um, creating an emergency plan for a natural disaster. And you will not have task force assignments due each week, but you will have at least individual assignments due each week. I encourage you to engage in the course as early as possible, that you are responsible for your portion of the task force and that um, you step up whenever needed to uh, fulfill roles in your, in your task force. Each task force, I hope, will be have a balanced representation from each of the four disciplines in the course. This isn't always possible due to enrollment um, in a variety of other factors. So you might be asked to represent roles outside of your discipline and use that again as a, as a chance to grow. So for the task force emergency plan that you'll be creating, remember this is an emergency plan, not a research paper. The plan should be evidence-based and use evidence-based um, theories and approaches and you will have a reference list, but it's not a research paper. I want to remind you that at the graduate level, you should be providing very robust work. Uh, this course follows APA 7th edition, so if you're not familiar with that, use the resources I've posted in the course and the Excelsior Owl to improve in that area. Um, just as a general aside, unless the assignment involves you doing some kind of self-assessment or providing some kind of personal uh, explanation, please write in the third person. Academic writing is formal and you should avoid personal pronouns and contractions. Any type of informal writing, or you should avoid that at the graduate level. Um, make sure you have at least one leader assigned for your task force and you can rotate the leadership role, but when you have task force assignments due each week, you need to have the leader uh, submit that assignment to the appropriate Dropbox in the course. Uh, again, you could either have one leader throughout or you can rotate the leadership responsibility, but you still need to do your portion of the work even if you're not the leader in the, in the task force group. I wanted to tell you that module five, which is week seven, um, has many assignments that are due, including the final project, the final emergency plan for your task force. So if at all, uh, if at all possible, try to work ahead if you can. Uh, stay on top of your assignments, pay close attention to the assignment prompts, uh, pay close attention to the grading rubric, and always remember that I'm here to help, so reach out if you need it. Um, you've made it this far, you're in graduate school, I hope that you use this course as a chance to grow. Please review my uh, education background in the instructor bio. I have a graduate education fo focused on leadership, public administration, and public policy. And again, I look forward to engaging with you in the course, and I look forward to an exciting term. Thanks. Bye.